What's up, everybody? It is Bucket Mouth of Bass I'm back here again today, and I'm sure y'all already see the title. Today, I'm going to be talking about the difference between casting reels and spinning reels here today. How today's video is going to work is obviously there's a ton of differences between spinning reels and casting reels, but I'm going to give y'all my top five differences between the casting and spinning reels on the market today and what I personally use them for and what I have noticed over the course of time I have been fishing with both of these so if you guys have not subscribed go down below hit that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss anything in the future here on this channel I have some crazy stuff coming for y'all very soon this spring I'm filming this video in February early February so the fishing should be picking up hopefully in South Texas Texas here in about the next two to three weeks but if not by March it'll definitely be picking up the fishing will be much better let me know when you guys are gonna be getting ready to go out and fish down below in the comments but that's enough of me talking let's go ahead and cue the epic music and the intro Alright guys, now that we got the intro out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start off with number 5 on the list here today and then work our way up to number 1 here. Number 5 is going to be that casting reels are definitely more customizable and what I mean by that is on a spinning reel, you cannot adjust your tension knob, you cannot adjust your brake settings, you cannot adjust your star drag, it's basically a spinning reel you buy it and that's how it is you can't really adjust anything you can adjust the drag but that doesn't really affect the casting distance or you know anything else like that so on a casting reel you can really customize exactly what you want on it you can adjust your brake settings your tension knob your star drag you know you can really customize how you like it and really get a customized experience out of your casting reel but like I was saying on a spinning reel it comes the way it is and you can't really do anything about it you would have to go buy another spinning reel but honestly most spinning reels are pretty much the same there's not really a difference it's not like you're getting a better brake brake system or you know a better tension knob or you know some extra features you know what I mean the best thing they could put on a spinning reel is maybe you know some extra ball bearings and make it a little bit smoother but to be honest in my opinion you don't really have to pay much for a spinning reel you know if you go out on the market but going back to what I was saying originally number five casting reels are definitely a lot more customizable than spinning reels moving on to number four here today is casting reels definitely give you more casting distance and accuracy that's what I have noticed and again if you guys disagree with anything I say in today video please go down below in the comments and let me know what you disagree with and why you disagree with it but when I have a bait casting reel in my hand I can definitely adjust the settings to get some more casting distance out of it with the spinning rod you would have to add more weight or that's about it you can't really adjust anything on your spinning reel I'm not saying spinning reels are bad they definitely have a place but you can't get as much distance out of a spinning reel as you can out of a casting reel because you can adjust everything on a casting reel and on a spinning reel you can't really adjust anything and what I have noticed when I fish with uh, either of the two the casting or the spinning reels is that when I'm throwing a casting reel I can definitely cast my bait way more accurately than I can with the spinning reel it's a little bit tougher to be accurate with the spinning reel again if y'all disagree let me know down below but that is what I have personally noticed I can definitely get my bait exactly where I want it with the casting reel but with the spinning reel you really gotta be good or you know it's just harder in general because with the casting reel it gives you more control over your bait and over what you're throwing 
compared to the spinning reel. And I'm not saying that you can't be accurate with the spinning reel because you absolutely can, but it's definitely easier with a casting reel. Moving up the list to number three here today, spinning reels are definitely easier to use, especially if you're a beginner or haven't been fishing for a long time. I know when I personally started fishing with a bait casting reel, I had no idea what the heck I was doing and I was birds nesting it all over the place and I had no idea how to use it but a spinning reel is definitely much easier to use because you know you buy the spinning reel you put line on it you flip up the bail and you cast you don't really have to adjust anything so that's definitely a benefit as well but you do lose some stuff like the extra casting distance that you would have with the casting reel or the extra control that you would have with the casting reel but spinning reels are by far easier to use than bait casting reels obviously I've been fishing with bait casting reels for years now so I can definitely use it uh, very easily now but you know there was a learning curve when I first started and a spinning reel there's absolutely no learning curve it's really easy to use and another thing is spinning reels are way easier to maintain for example my casting reels I'm always cleaning them and you know always having to do different stuff to them but my spinning reel I use the Abu Garcia black max it's like a $50 combo it's super cheap I've been using it for years guys and I basically don't maintain that thing at all uh, partially because it's super cheap so if something happened to it I could just go buy another one but also because it's a spinning setup and you don't have to you know you know maintain it as well as you would with the bait casting reel and again if y'all disagree with that let me know down below in the comments but that's just from my personal experience so moving on to number two on today's list is casting reels definitely give you more control when you're fishing so for example if you're throwing a heavier bait you can adjust your brake settings tension knob and star drag exactly for that heavier bait or if you're throwing a light bait again you can customize it exactly how you want it so with that being said it's definitely easier to control what's going on with your casting reel but with the spinning reel again you get it and that's pretty much it you can't really change anything and when you're casting with a casting reel it's definitely easier to control where your bait is actually going and where you're casting with the spinning reel it's a little bit harder to aim that's what I have noticed I can be pretty accurate with the spinning reel but you know most spinning rods come with those big guides because you have to have larger guides for a spinning reel than you would for a casting reel so that's another thing when you're buying a casting reel you can get a rod with much smaller guides so you can cast accurately as well but with the spinning reel that line needs to be able to spin around obviously so the guides on the spinning rod are gonna have to be bigger which makes your rod significantly less accurate when you're casting it so again if y'all disagree please let me know down below but it's definitely easier to control what you're doing with the casting reel so moving on to number one on today's list is spinning reels are great if you're finesse fishing or fishing something very lightweight unless you get like a bait finesse casting reels and those can get really expensive I don't even get into that because it's like four or five hundred dollars when you could just buy a spinning reel and do the exact same thing but spinning reels are definitely better for finesse fishing so for example I only fish a drop shot with a spinning setup because it's way easier to use and especially if you're going super lightweight you can't throw it on an inexpensive bait casting reel I mean you could but at the same time you're probably gonna birds nest and you're probably not gonna be able to get a lot of distance out of it unless you really know what you're doing so spinning reels definitely have a place it's way easier to fish finesse baits let's say I'm fishing a real small shaky head or a small Texas rig or I'm out fishing you know for perch or you know blue gill or something like that for for whatever reason or if I'm fishing for even larger bass and I'm throwing a drop shot with a small worm and a small weight I definitely want to use a spinning reel because it's way easier to use than a bait casting reel but that's only if I'm throwing very lightweight stuff if you guys have been watching me for a while you know I pretty much only fish fish with bait casting reels but I do have a spinning reel that I keep on the boat pretty much exclusively for fishing a drop shot because it's just way easier to finesse fish especially using a drop shot with a spinning setup but overall I'm not saying anything bad about casting reels or spinning reels I'm just saying each one has a place when you're fishing so like obviously like I said earlier spinning reels are definitely better for finesse fishing while casting reels are definitely better for pretty much everything else especially if you're top water fishing or anything like that but if you guys enjoyed today's video 
go down and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss anything here in the future or if you think I was super ugly today and really hated my voice or disagreed with everything I said in today's video go down and leave a dislike so I know that you didn't like today's video but again thank y'all so much for watching and like I already said if you have not subscribed go down and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any of the epic stuff I have coming here very very soon spring fishing is just around the corner and you guys do not want to miss anything but I will see y'all in another video